In this video, I'll be installing the Computer Lab plugin for AccuTrack 2015. The Computer Lab plugin is used to make every computer in a lab its own sign in station. So, what happens? You install the Computer Lab plugin on the various uh, PCs, uh, they're locked, and then the student would sign in with either an ID or ID and password, depending on how you have it configured. That PC unlocks, there's a floating box up in the top corner. Uh, while the student's using the PC, the student then signs out of that computer. It goes back to a locked state and waits for the next student to unlock it. Okay, so I've got my installer launcher here, uh, AccuTrack.exe. Now, if you have the Computer Lab plugin, you'll see a folder here for the plugin, and there's an installer for that here. So either way, but I'll go ahead and run the installer launcher. And when I do that, I've got a Computer Lab here, so I click on that. And then, again, if I have the Computer Lab installer, I'll see Run Computer Lab Installer here. If I didn't have the Computer Lab, I would see additional information about Computer Lab. But I'll go ahead and click uh, Run Installer, and that will launch the Program Installer. Okay, I'll click Next, Next again, Read and Accept the License Agreement. And I would recommend the default path, which uh, for 64-bit would be x86, CompLab 15. Uh, for 32-bit, you would lose the x86 there. Okay, I'll click Next, let it install. Okay, now I'll click Finish, and I'm not showing the icons on my desktop, but you would have a Computer Lab plugin shortcut on your desktop. You can also go to the folder where the Computer Lab's installed, which is C Program Files or Program Files x86, CompLab 15, which is right here. Okay, and there's the Computer Lab uh, plugin program. So when I first launched that program, I want to show you something here. Uh, it'll ask for its data path. Okay. Now, if you already have a shared drive out there with your AccuTrack database in it, uh, you can go ahead and pick that from here. If you're using a UNC path, a backslash, backslash server name, backslash folder path, then you would have to set that manually. So that's what I'm using in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel uh, select directory. Okay. Now, when I open the computer lab, what it does is creates a folder out on my uh, users public documents AccuTrack path. Okay? These are the two files that store uh, the path to the database. Okay? So when I first uh, open that and cancel it, it writes these two files for me, which I need to set my data path. Okay, so in my computer lab plugin installer uh, folder where computer labs installed, I have a utility here, it's called set data path. Okay, when I run that, uh, I can set the database location to a UNC path. Now, I'll click native since it is AccuTrack. Okay, and you see I don't have a path yet. Okay, but out here on a network uh, server, excuse me, I have a UNC path to a database uh, called AccuFiles AccuData. So that's the database I want to point my computer lab to. I'll copy that and then I'm just going to paste that path in. Okay. Once I've done that, I can close set data path, and now I'll run the computer lab again, and it will now be pointing to that database out on my server. So now the computer lab opens. Now, if I want to log in as an administrator, I can do so. It'd be the same administrator, uh, root, admin, ID, and password that I use to connect to the AccuTrack database via AccuTrack. So when I do that, it tells me I'm using the default. But what I'm looking at is just a few settings that I can do on my computer lab. One is set my database location. Now I've already done that through set data path. Um, also lab IDs. So this is used typically with a computer lab. Uh, you can certainly learn more about local labs uh, on our YouTube channel or from the user manual. But what I can do is uh, pick a local lab, so I can say, well, you're the computer lab computer, so you uh, 
handle sign-ins like a computer lab would do. So I could say only pick uh, computer lab activities, don't select a tutor, don't select an instructor. So you can have uh, different local lab settings. But that's where you would set that in the computer lab. Once I've done that, I return back to my sign-in screen, and now I'm ready to sign in as a student. So I do so, and then remember the activities that I can select are specifically up to me. So a good example might be I want open lab use and skills training. I could assign those specifically to that local lab. Um, I haven't done so in this case, but I could do that. So in other words, all of my tutoring courses would not show up. Okay, but I'll just sign in here for academic use, let's say. Uh, again, more configuration settings. If I want to report it to a professor, I can. But now I'm logged into this computer. Um, I can do whatever I'd like to do on this PC. Once I'm done, I sign out. It goes back to a lock state, and it waits for the next student. Okay. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you here real quickly is I'm going to go to my AccuTrack 2015 because these uh, settings for the computer lab are handled in AccuTrack. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up AccuTrack here. And then I want to make sure my database is set to the same path. So let's do that real quick, which is my... IIIPC Accu Files Accu Data folder. So I'll steal that path, log into AccuTrack here, and then go set my database location. Save. Now I do need to exit AccuTrack when I change databases. Excuse me. So now I'll go back and uh, open it again. So now I'm pointing to that same database that I set my computer lab to out on my server. Okay, so in AccuTrack, I have an add-ons down here. If I click on that, then I can click uh, Setup over here to the right. And it shows me all of my computer lab options. So here is what you set for uh, how you want those logins to be handled via the computer lab. Okay, So if you want to pass a, uh, a user ID through a Windows login, for example, I can use that to log in uh, to the computer lab so I don't have to enter the ID twice. I can go back to uh, log out from Windows and wait for the next student to log into Windows to pass those credentials, for example. Just go back to the main sign-in screen and various other options, things like if nothing happens on that PC for X number of minutes, do I want to do an automatic logout? Okay, so all your settings for computer lab are in there. And again, real briefly, I'll just show you here on uh, activities. So if I look at uh, academic use, personal use, you can see that I have those two items available in my computer lab. So if I go back to the computer lab plugin here, let's see how that works. And I'm going to do that by changing my uh, local lab ID to my computer lab. So I'll log in as an administrator. And then I'll go to lab ID. And let's set this to computer lab. right here and save. Okay, now return to sign-in screen and it says tutoring center. I could change that, but let's see what we have available for that local lab. Okay, and as you can see here, I have comp computer lab, open lab, skills training, or academic personal use. So what that means are those are the, are the activities that are assigned to that local lab. Okay? And there's whole, a whole lot of information um, via our reference manual and also on our YouTube channel that will tell you all about local labs. Okay? But now I'm ready to go. I would install the computer lab on the various PCs in the lab, point them to the correct database, and then I'm done. Okay? Thank you.